I'm going to share my thoughts about Dehancer and I will show you every signal setting in DaVinci Resolve. It's very easy to download and it's also relatively easy to install. I will make a video on how to download and install it. In DaVinci, you just drag it onto a node and then it's already active. Inside the plugin, it has a bunch of different settings you can enable or disable. So what you can do is, for instance, if you just want to use Bloom, uh, you can disable everything and just uh, activate Bloom. If you just want to do something like Film Stock, you can deactivate everything else. You can use the Film Stock. You have different types of Film Stock, 8mm and so on. So there's, there's a lot of things uh, you know, in the plugin. And I'm definitely going to be using it in weddings, events, those kind of things, and see, you know, how I can spice up my my videos. Please use my link in the description to download Dehancer. And if you do decide to buy it, you will receive some discount. This is not going to be a tutorial on how to set up everything. Uh, I will create another video for that. This is the recommended tree according to their documentation. And I've set up the answer at the end. So I did a reset there. I'm selecting my camera. When you do this the first time, it will download uh, a bunch of cameras, uh, the 6K. So as you can see, I'm just gonna make this bigger. You can change the ISO there. So they recommend working from back to front. What I have done already before was to do the white balance. So I'm just gonna enable my white balance. And then all these settings are uh, default. So I'm gonna show you what each one does. So of course this tint, you can probably do the same tint down there. Not sure what that, does let's see so it's gonna make some kind of change there you might be able to use that to differentiate enabled for me that doesn't seem to be doing much then here you can boost your contrast it's gonna open up bigger You should probably enable it first. So you can see. Also down there what it does. I'll just reset everything. And here you can change your uh, the type of film. So you can also disable that completely. So you can see. Enabled, disable. I'm going to show you quickly the different I'm probably not going to go through all of them. But so you can see there's a lot of different uh, options you have there. Lots of capability. Let's enable this guy. So you can see there in the back that pops those lights. So disable, enable. So that gives me actually more detail around the lights at the back. Right, that's too much. Uh, just again to this tree, they recommend doing noise reduction at the very beginning. Uh, but again, I will go through a tutorial a lot later. And uh, yeah, on print, lots of different options. Color density. So that that is my thing.
the raid, all the raids are getting a lot stronger. So I might even do that. And you can change the saturation. Color head. Let's make sure that's enabled. Everything at the same time. Changing color there. Let's have a look at the lights. So it's not changing the lights. Form grain, it is enabled. So you can change your, your form grain. So the higher it goes, the less grainy. Disable, enable. And then you can also make it really rough. As you can see, so lots of capability with it. Halation enable that. So you can see how nice that makes the little lights there at the top. So what you can do is put Dehancer on another node, disable everything, just have halation, and then mask, uh, you know, for instance, the little lights at the back, because now when we do halation, then that also happens. So they do have a mask mode to show you where everything is going to happen. But if you put a, a one of these windows on mask, uh, you can then you know just focus on on the lights so that the person doesn't get anything. And bloom, so same story. So you can probably do that on, you know, something specific that you want to make that happen. We're not going to do any of that. Form damage. Let's do eight. So you have, you have little marks showing up. You see those little marks as if, as if the video is damaged. So there you have that. So that's our form damage. Form breath, let's see what that does. Gate weave. So it's uh, doing some kind of a zoom there. Do eight. Overscan, let's enable that. So you have those little things on the sides. We'll disable that. This one you can change. Let's enable that. So then your couple is the main focus. You can set up your false color clipping. So this is going to determine how much of the plugin is being used or not. And of course your license information and in high, slow, that's going to give you better quality. So that's all the settings of this plugin. So if you do decide to use this plugin, uh, I have a discount link in my description. I'm definitely going to get this for when I do things like weddings uh, and those kind of things.